it's Don once again with another look at the construction happening here in the villages. This is video number 122. And in this video, I'm going to do something a little different, kind of similar to what I did last year at this time. I'm going to give you my predictions for the construction happenings here in the next 12 months here in the villages. And we're also going to take a look at my predictions from last year and see how far I was off or if I was on base and on track with uh, my predictions. Some were good, eh, some I missed the mark. All right, so let's go through my predictions from last year. First up was Homestead would open in January of 22. It happened in February. I missed it a little, but I'll give myself credit for that one. Next up, Magnolia Plaza, the Omni building. I said early March, the businesses would open, or at least start to. Well, boy, I missed that one by a mile. Next up, Lake Deaton Plaza. I said April 1st, tenants would start moving in. Whoop, missed that one by a mile too. Still not happening. Next was Richmond. I said in April, homes would start selling. Well, that didn't start happening until summertime, so I missed that one again by about three months. Oh boy, the next one, boy, I really missed it. Okahumpka Rec Center. I said it would open July. Turned out it was in November. I also said August or September, the restaurant would open. They haven't even broke ground on it yet, so I missed that one big too. Richmond Putt and Play. I said October, November it would open. November 1st it opened. Made that one right on the mark. Next up, South Richmond. This is a section over by Warm Springs and Megason where they meet. I said one March homes would start going on sale. Made that one right. Next was the mid Richmond area, just a little bit north along Megason Road. I said March or April they would start selling homes. I missed it a little bit. It actually started about May. No go on that one either. Next up was the intersection of Megason and Warm Springs, where the three commercial areas are located. I said, eh, sometime around April we would be groundbreaking. Missed that one by a mile. DeLuna. I said, three new villages would happen here. Nope, it's all just the village of DeLuna, so I missed that one. DeLuna starting work. I said the end of January. It was actually the end of February, so I missed it by about a month. But I'll give myself credit for that one. I was still pretty close. Next up, I said the Warm Springs US 301 commercial buildings would be ready by the end of July. Yep, missed it a mile. Not even open yet. Okay, now the big one. Megason and 470 would open. I said next December or January. So that would be last month or the month before. Eh, still missed that one by a mile. Nothing open yet. I said the area south of Monarch Grove would start work sometime around January of 23. Missed that one. They still haven't started work yet, really. Just the road. I did say the golf course north of the Southern Oaks Bridge would start work in fall. Sure enough, I was right on that one. I said the Southern Oaks Bridge. Both spans would be done by January of 23. An opening in the spring. So far, I'm right on the mark on that one. And my last prediction was Eastport would be under construction by summer. That one was right on too. Okay, so how did I do? And eh, not so good. I was in the ballpark on a few things, but I missed some dates pretty bad. Let's start our look at the construction down in Middleton, where the family housing is being built. And some other interesting things are going on. Let's start out in the residential area, and we're going to head north, and the first thing we're going to see is the traffic circle that opened up a few days ago, and there's something unique about it. Look at the inside lane. It's not two lanes. It's one. The inside lane is striped off. You're not supposed to drive in there. I've been through it. I like it. I like it a lot better than the ones in the rest of the villages. Will it stay like this? I don't know, but for now, it's a great circle. This is Central Parkway running through the middle of the screen. The area beyond it is more residential. The clump of trees at the top of the screen is Thurston Park. We'll rotate around some more and we can see the pool and postal station for the residential area. Here you can see the first couple of homes are under construction. These are probably spec homes or they're going to be model homes. This is a couple of days old, so I'm sure there's quite a few more houses there already now. I did some digging and I found out somewhere between 60 and 100 homes have already been sold in Middleton. So here's my first prediction for 2023. They're building about 8,000 homes in Middleton. 
The total school capacity is supposed to be about 6,500 students. There's a big imbalance there. I think what we're going to see is a lot of multi-generational families living in these, both adults, senior citizens, children, and one of the things I think we'll see is a new kind of amenity, let's call it license, where if you're a senior citizen living in one of these multi-generational homes in the family area of Middleton, you can buy into the amenity fee and therefore you'd have access to the golf courses, the recreation centers, and the rest of the amenities. I think this is a great idea. Now, will they do it? If they're smart, which I know they are, they probably will do something like this. We'll see what happens this year. Mark, Tracy, and Jennifer, hey, I know you watch my videos, so feel free to use this idea. Let's face it, we're not as young as we once were. Climbing those old-fashioned attic stairs to get the Christmas decorations down or to stow those family treasures is just too dangerous. Magic stairs is the safer alternative. Real steps with safety rails at a safer angle and safety rails in the attic provide the safest attic access available. Having troubles getting things to and from the attic? The Magic Attic Lift can be there to help. Designed by Village's resident Ron Burner, every Magic Stairs and Magic Attic Lift is custom built in their Ocala, Florida factory and installed by their technicians. Why take chances? For less than the cost, cost of one emergency room visit, you can have Magic Stairs installed in your home. Magic Stairs, the safer, more convenient alternative. Our next stop is to the area just to the east of Middleton, where the village of Moultrie Creek and Shady Brook are going to be built, as well as the Shallow Creek Golf Course, which is already under construction. Here we're looking at the intersection of Marsh Bend Trail and County Road 470. That small building that was there is a pump house for moving water between the retention ponds. As we rotate around, you'll see how Southern Parkway is going off to the north of County Road 470. We'll rotate around a little bit farther, and coming into view is the village of Shady Brook, followed by Moultrie Creek, and a little farther to the south is the Shallow Creek Golf Course. So here's my next prediction for 2023. The Shallow Creek Golf Course will open sometime in the October-November time frame, and sometime late this summer, we'll see homes start to be built in the village of Moultrie Creek, which is going to be surrounded by the golf course. The road crossing the middle of the screen is Bar Boulevard. We'll continue on up to the Shallow Creek Golf Course, and you can see the cut-ins for the greens and the sand traps. As well as we continue to move around, you'll see the roads that are being laid in for Moultrie Creek. As promised in the last video, I've added a compass that shows you the direction the camera is pointing. This isn't necessarily the way the drone is flying, it's where the camera is pointing. Sometimes the drone flies sideways, sometimes it flies backwards. Let me know what you think of this new addition. I also added the speed and the altitude, just to give you an idea of how fast I'm moving and how high the drone is. In the upper left corner is the Gibson Wastewater Treatment Plant that separates the community from the prison on the other side, the prison that the villages is not buying. We'll rotate back and we'll look to the west and you can see the high school again. We'll rotate back around and we'll head back towards the Gibson Wastewater Treatment Plant and where Marsh Bend Trail and 470 meet, where we started at. As many of you already know, in just two short weeks, the Spring Thing is going to be here. The Spring Thing is a multi-charity event. We're raising money for St. Jude's, National Brain Tumor Society, Polio, Alzheimer, and a whole bunch of other charities. We have a great group of sponsors that are supporting us and helping us put on this event. Country Village Power Equipment and Yamaha Golf Carts is our diamond sponsor, and they're donating a golf cart, and we're going to raffle it off. We're going to have some great entertainment there. Uncle Bob's Rock Shop and Rick Melvern Band are both playing. We have food trucks, an arts and crafts show, a contractor showcase. Come on out, enjoy the fun. It's not too late if your social group or charity or business wants to get involved. We're still looking for sponsors, exhibitors. Just contact Bob or Dick to find out how you can participate. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating Systems give you the control to adjust the temperature room by room. So it's always comfortable in the living room, bedroom, rooms with ducts, rooms without ducts, rooms with all ducts, old rooms, and smart ones. Mitsubishi Electric. Make yourself comfortable. Don't forget, summer's coming up. Give M&S Air Conditioning a call and get your annual servicing done now. We'll move back to the west and take a look at the new high school and how work is progressing on it and the commercial areas being built in Middleton. 
A question I'm frequently asked is, is Middleton going to be golf cart accessible? You betcha it is. In fact, if you look at the golf cart paths here, you can see there's a bunch of traffic circles being put in instead of the normal T intersections. This is going to be a great improvement, especially coming out of the tunnels. The football stadium is coming along. According to one of the latest videos put out by the villages, both the ball fields and the football fields will have artificial turf instead of natural grass. Here's a quick look at the plans for the new school. You can see they've got a couple of academic buildings, performing arts, sports complex, tennis courts, basketball courts, football fields, soccer fields, everything you can imagine. What an incredible school this is going to be. And to think, this is costing the county nothing. The developer is paying every dime of building this school. They've made a tremendous amount of progress building the school in the last year, and it's amazing how well it's come along. Interior work is already underway. They're doing a lot of finish work, tiling in the bathrooms, things like that. There's still a lot to be done on the exterior, but there's little doubt in my mind that they'll make the opening for the next school year. Up ahead is the first of several commercial buildings being built here in Middleton. The first floor walls are pretty much done. Now they're starting to work on the second floor of this building. As we pan to the right, you'll see a second building that started under construction and a third. Something else that recently surfaced, there's going to be a hotel across the street from the high school. This will be a six-story hotel with 124 rooms, its own swimming pool and parking lot. Here's a quick look at the pre-K school that they've built. I've not found anything or heard any rumors as far as what commercial properties will be going into these new buildings, but I'm sure they've got some lined up already. As soon as I find out, I'll let everybody know. At the top center of the screen is again where the hotel is going to be built. We'll take a close-in look now at the front entrance to the new high school. There is a huge courtyard between the academic buildings, the administrative part of the school, the performing arts center, and the sports complex and cafeteria. At the top of the screen in the distance is Moultrie Creek and the Shallow Creek Championship Golf Course. Let's now move up to the north a little bit, to where Eastport is being built. I was doing a lot of looking around during this flight. That's why the flight path looks a little bit crazy today. The area where you see the backhoes digging is the one kilometer lake that's being built for dragon boat racing in Eastport. My next prediction is that by about May, they'll start filling this one kilometer long lake, and it'll probably take a month or two to fill. As I rotate around to the north, the village nearest us will be Oak Hollow, and to its right will be LaGrange, and beyond that, up towards Monarch Grove, will be the village of Wellpoint and Enfield. The backhoes in the middle of the screen are digging another retention pond in the village of LaGrange. This road is Corbin Trail, coming out of Monarch Grove, where it will intersect with Bexley Trail by the ball fields that are part of the Olympia Rec Center at Eastport. I've circled the island where the grandstands are going on the dragon boating lake. Remember what this area looks like because you're going to see it several more times. As I come in closer, you'll see that they're building a retaining wall for the island. This is where the bridge is going to cross over the water to give you access to the island. You can also see the wall that they're building along the area, for lack of better terms, where the downtown is going to be. We'll swing all the way around this retaining wall so you can get a good look at the work going on. There's going to be a bridge that crosses from, let's call it the mainland, to the island. 
There's a lot of buildings that are going to be built here in Eastport. And I'm going to give you my next prediction. I think we're going to see the foundations being poured for the first building about June, maybe July at the latest. Which building it will be, that's hard to say at this point. But there are several in the works and I'm going to show you two of them now. This first building is on the south side of the lake and this is the new hotel that's going to be built right about here. This four-story, 120-room hotel will have its main entrance on the south side. You can see the circle there for the cars come in. But the real focus is going to be on the north side, where all the entertainment area is, near the water. It's not hard to figure that some of the balcony views will have a really good view of the dragon boat racing. This is a really good view of the east end of the lake and the island that will make up this lake. The next building is called Out Parcels 3 and 4. This is where it's located. That's right along the Southern Parkway. This is the site plan for the building. It's 21,000 square feet and for the life of me, for a while I couldn't figure out what it was until I took a real close look at this section right here. There are two gas pumps with a 12 foot wide entrance and there's also a ramp that's only 7 foot wide. I finally realized this is a new golf cart store. I'll take a nice slow spin around and we'll take a look at what's happening. This is Southern Parkway going horizontally and coming into view on the left side is Bexley Trail. This goes all the way up to the Southern Oaks Bridge. The Southern Oaks Bridge, according to the latest update from the villages, will open sometime early summer. I've gotten a lot of questions on when the bridge is going to open and they're going to have access all the way up to Everglades and Magnolia Plaza. Well, here's my prediction. About July we should see McNeil Drive and Corbin Trail open up all the way to the Southern Oaks Bridge and allow access. That's when I would also expect to see construction start on the homes in the village of Wellpoint, just south of Monarch Grove. But this is my best guess, based on what I'm seeing right now in the construction, but of course I could be wrong. At the very top of the screen is of course Coleman Prison. Looking for that perfect Murphy bed for your bonus room? Look no further. We offer three things. Best quality, best service, best warranty in the industry, bar none. Give us a call, set up an appointment. 612-598-3303, murphyoffice.com. Let's move on from Eastport up to Magnolia Plaza where the new 7-Eleven is being built. This is the new 7-Eleven. My best prediction on this is about a month more of construction and two weeks to stock it and get it prepped for opening. So tax day, April 15th, I would expect to see this new 7-Eleven open. Let's take a look at some really big news now. US 301. The governor has approved full funding to get this road upgraded. So let's see what's going to happen. These four intersections are the big news. First up is the US 301 Turnpike Interchange. This is scheduled to be rebuilt and a traffic light installed. These plans are still preliminary and we're a good year away from work actually starting. Next up is the intersection of Marsh Bend Trail and US 301. The current plan is to get rid of this traffic light and to put a traffic circle in to help ease the flow of traffic in this busy interchange. Next up is Warm Springs and US 301. The current plan is to put a traffic light at this interchange and then Route 301 between Hammock at Finney and the Coleman Ridge development, bypassing the city of Coleman. 
301, then would rejoin its original path here at County Road 525 East at the Governor Rick Scott Industrial Complex. The plan is to put a traffic light at this intersection. In addition to the rerouting, 301 will be widened to four lanes from the Florida Turnpike to the intersection of 301 and County Road 470. This is the area where 301 will be rerouted. This is the interchange of US 301 and County Road 470. Sumter County just recently purchased 20 acres of land here, and they're going to put a new service center here, similar to the one at Pinellas Plaza. A traffic light is going here. Since we're in the area, let's look at Dunkin' Donuts. It looks like it's getting close to being opened. Lights are on and a lot of equipment is in. It won't, however, be golf cart accessible. At least maybe not yet, because part of the 301 upgrade is to put a 12-foot wide multimodal path along each side of 301 when it's expanded to four lanes. However, the ability to cross Warm Springs Avenue in a golf cart hasn't been determined yet. So the mystery is solved and we have a winner. 12588 is my dad's brick at the Veterans Memorial Park. My dad passed away four years ago and shortly thereafter I purchased this brick to honor him. He was also a U.S. Air Force veteran of 20 years. We had two winners. They both came in right at the exact same time. Pat Smith of the village of Chitty Chatty and Ed Addison of the village of Finney. If you haven't had a chance to visit the Veterans Memorial Park here in the Villages, please do so. It's a very beautiful and humbling place. Now let's take a look at the location where the new Home Depot and CVS are being built at the corner of 466A and Powell Road. In this corner is where CVS is being built. In the corner diagonally across 466A and Powell Road is six apartment buildings that are five stories tall each. I'll rotate around now and we'll see where the new Home Depot is going in. It will be accessible from Powell Road, but it's going to be set back quite a ways from the actual road frontage. Directly across Powell Road is the Gold Dome Building, or the proper name, is the Village's Sumter County Service Center. This is where the library, the tax collector, the property appraiser, and many of the other county offices are located. Let's scoot back down south again to the Southern Oaks Bridge and to Sawgrass Grove. There's been a lot of things happening there in the last couple of weeks. Starting early last month, a lot of things started to happen. They took down the ramp on the north side of the old Bailey Bridge. A couple of days later, they started putting up the steel structures that are going to surround the multimodal path over the Southern Oaks Bridge. On the night of February 26th, they took out the north side spans. You can see them laying here on the ground. You can also see that the steel framework over the multimodal path is now complete. On the evening of February 27th, they started taking down the columns that supported the north side span. You can see the shower of sparks that occurred as they were cutting through the rebar in the column. Starting the night of March 1st, they started jackhammering the concrete between the support beams of the southern span. This continued on for several hours. This was a very boring and loud process, especially when the concrete chunks fell into the dump trucks below the bridge. At about 1 a.m. on the morning of the 2nd, two men started cutting the rebar that was in place between each of the beams. It made quite a spark show. It was pretty exciting to watch. They continued to cut for quite a while. The first section of the span was removed right about the same time as the launch was happening for the SpaceX rocket from the Space Center that evening. I was busy shooting video of the launch when the first section of the beams came off. Right at 2 a.m., the second beam came off of the southern span. While they continued to work through the rest of the night to pull down the rest of the bridge, I'd had enough, called it a night, and went home. Amazingly, I saw zero cars between the bridge and my home in the village of Hillsboro. Not a single one on the road. Amazing!
Here's a shot of the Falcon 9 liftoff that occurred that night. Below is the village of Citrus Grove. There was about a dozen other people there that night watching the rocket take off. I've gotten quite a few questions about why the purple lights on Megason Road. Well, it's not what you think. It's just a bad batch of LED lights. The county is waiting on the replacement ones to come in as soon as they are. They'll fix them and the lights will be the right color. This is the afternoon of March the 2nd. Both spans of the Old Bailey Bridge are now down. They continue to work the following evening to take down the rest of the columns. Hopefully the new bridge will last six decades, just like the old Bailey Bridge did. Let's talk about the spring thing once again. We're raffling off a golf cart worth over $17,000 provided by Country Village Power Equipment and Golf Carts. A limited number of tickets will be available, $20 a piece. Get yours now. I'll have some. They have them at Country Village. I'll have more locations listed on my website as they become available. We're back here at Sawgrass Grove and it's crowded. Oh wait, no it's not. But yet somehow, there's still golf carts parked out in the grass. I've received a lot of nasty comments and emails about, oh, it's poorly designed, it's poorly engineered, there's not enough parking. But yet, they still do it even though there's no reason for it. So here's my prediction. Within the next month or two, this whole area is going to be ripped out. They're going to put landscaping in it. You're not going to be able to park there. And I'm also going to get the blame for this and a whole bunch of nasty emails and comments. So be it. I'm not the lazy one here. I will admit that I think Sawgrass Grove was a great idea. And it was implemented really well, especially the canopy. This is the Darling Sweet Shop in the Sawgrass Market. Boy, did I discover something I liked. I'm a chocoholic. What's your best flavor? Oh, for me, it's the Zanzibar chocolate. Three different cocos. It's just very rich and wonderfully tasty. Can we try a sample? Sure. What's the best thing they got? Zanzibar chocolate. It's awesome. So here's my prediction. I'm going to be here quite a bit. Because, as I said, I am a massive chocoholic, and this is the best chocolate ice cream I have ever had. <laughs> Let's move a little farther south now to where Lake Denham and Dabney are along County Road 470 for an update and a couple of more predictions. We're flying now over the southern section of the village of Lake Denham. This area is still heavily under construction, so please stay out of it. So here's my next prediction. The village owns the land south of 470. You can see it here. They're going to start work on clearing this area probably sometime late in the year, maybe November or December, to start developing this commercial area. This is probably the least likely of all my predictions in this video, only because they've got a lot of other irons in the fire right now with Middleton and Eastport. We'll take a look at the work on Megason Road while we hear from one of my sponsors. Hi, I'm Jeff Monash with Village Air Filters. Are you tired of wasting money on throwaway paper air filters? I can save you money with my lifetime permanent washable air filters. Just buy it once and never buy another air filter again. Rinse it out, and then just slide it right back in. My filters are custom made in the US, and they have a lifetime warranty. Give me a call at 352-388-1230, or visit my website at villageairfilters.com. At the top of the screen is Lake Denham and its associated wetlands area. There's a lot of things in here that crawl on their belly and have teeth, and Don isn't going anywhere near them. As we continue to rotate around, we'll get a good look at the southern end of Lake Denham and the village of Dabney. This is a huge area, and right now the only thing I'm seeing on the plans is one recreation center. 
So here's my next prediction. This is Edna's. Despite what many naysayers initially said, Edna's has turned into be a huge success and a lot of people really love it. It's a great alternative to traditional restaurants. You can change out the menu quick and easy, just change out the trucks. So here's what I see. I think someplace deep down here in the village of Dabney, they're going to put another Edna's type place. I don't know what its name's going to be, but I think it's got a huge potential to fill a gap in an area that's definitely going to be off by itself. I do want to say one thing real quick. These are my predictions. I've been digging through public filings and I've been trying to get inside the developer's head to understand what they're doing. And these are the things that I see coming up. I could be right. I could be wrong. Whichever it is, please don't bother the developer. Don't bother the district office. They have nothing to do with what I'm saying. Again, these are just my predictions. Nobody else's. There's nothing official being put out about this, but this is what I see coming based on my years of experience of watching what's happening here. Work is continuing at a brisk pace down here, and you can probably expect sometime by summer you'll be able to buy a house in the village of Dabney. Or, if not a house, at least a lot. This area here is the Dabney Recreation Area. This is where the postal station is going to be. They're going to have an adult pool, probably some pickleball courts, and a few other recreation amenities. Okay, time for my next prediction. Something hasn't happened here in the villages since 2018, and it's going to return this summer, and that is Premier Homes. Sometime this summer, my prediction is they're going to start offering Premier Homes for sale. Again, this is the first time since 2018 that they've built Premier Homes. We'll see how close I am on this one, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So we got a couple of more minutes to go and a, and a couple of more predictions. But before we get to those, I want to thank my sponsors. They really do make a difference and help me make these videos. Unlike the typical YouTube video that's a talking head, the amount of time and energy and cost it takes to produce these videos is substantially more than a typical let me talk to the camera. So please support my sponsors as they support me to help bring you these videos. You can see a lot of water mains are going in along Chandler Road, as well as in this community right here. Hello everybody, my name is Joey Faulkner, owner and operator of 24 Hour Cart Club here in the Villages, a towing service provided strictly for golf carts, whether it be flat tire, run out of fuel, uh, any kind of emergency breakdown, uh, feel free to call us, you can sign up online. Uh, 24hourcartclub.com. You can sign up over the phone, area code 352-661-0562. Use promotion code WINGNUT and that'll give you three months free on a year membership. Here once again we can see Megason Road. This picture is a little bit dated, probably a week and a half old. Megason is now paved all the way to 470, at least the first layer of asphalt. There's still a second layer that's being put down. Please don't go onto this road. Give the workers a chance to complete their work. Lots are up for sale in this section of Lake Denham. A bunch of them just went on sale in the last couple of days. Most of them, amazingly, view sites, water sites, that are $50,000 or less. That's an incredible bargain for a lot. If you have one of these lots and you're building a home and you need somebody to watch your home being built for you, take pictures for you, please go to my website, goldwingnut.com, and arrange for a photo and video package. Up ahead, on the other side of the turnpike, is where the new hospital is supposed to be built. I know nothing about this. There is a complete information vacuum at this point. I'll let you know something as soon as I find it out. Okay, it's time for my last two predictions. The first one, by the end of the year, the Villages is going to announce the acquisition of another three or 4,000 acres that they intend to develop as a part of the community. And my last prediction... County Road 470. They're going to start construction on a second bridge span over the Florida Turnpike as part of the County Road Development Agreement with Lake County. Well, there you have it. That's my predictions and that's the video. I want to thank you for watching. Please, again, support my sponsors. Be sure to click on the like button. And if you don't like my videos, let your voice be known. Double click on that dislike button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again. 
I'm Don Wiley. Thank you.